Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove duplicates from a spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel 2019. So let's open up this folder and inside I've got this sample spreadsheet and if we scroll down we can see we've got all of these names, telephone numbers and email addresses and they're all just made up data. This is just all fictional data but let's say that we want to remove all of the duplicates. If I zoom right out you can see we've got quite a lot of rows there. We've got about almost 100 rows of data and somehow we want to get rid of all the duplicates. Normally this would happen if someone's signing up to maybe a competition on your website and they may sign up more than once and you've got this data in a spreadsheet or you've collected it over a period of time and people have signed up for something more than once and you want to remove duplicates because you want to maybe send them a newsletter or send them some information or you've got customers and you've kept records but you're, you're not really keeping them in the right way, right? to want to get rid of the duplicates. So there's a few different ways to do this, but we'll show you the easy way. One thing you've got to be careful of is you don't really want to run duplicate, check duplicates against your first name, because two people could have the first name, right? First name or the full name could be the same. It's highly unlikely two people will register with the same phone number, but two people could be living at the same address with the same phone number. So I would always target the email address. Out of these three columns, the most unique element would always be the, the email address because two people can have the same first and last name and two people could be uh, have the same phone number because they live in the same property, for example, right? Brother and sister or so forth. So I would go by email address. But So let's try this out. So I'm going to click on email address here, right at the top, email address. We'll go to data and then we'll go to the, uh, let's see, remove duplicates here. So when I click remove duplicates, Excel will automatically select all three columns, but we don't want it to do that. We want to untick full name and untick telephone. So it's only targeting the duplicates within email. And then we just simply click OK. If your data doesn't contain headers, so the first row might not have headers, uh, then you can tick this option and then it will use that as well. But we don't want that. These are headers up here. So we'll select this option here because the data has headers. Then we'll click OK, and we should end up with 10 records, I believe. So let's click OK, and we'll click OK. We actually end up with nine, nine um, records, but 10 rows, because the first row is headers. So I already knew that before we did the operation. I knew there should only be 10 in here. And by going by the email address, we'll make sure that we get all unique data, because everyone has a unique email address, but phone numbers might be the same for two people and the first name and the last name might also be the same for two different people that might register for a competition and so forth. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, send me a little message on the uh, the chat on whichever service you're, you're checking this video on. It might be on Facebook or it might be on uh, YouTube. If you give me a little message, I'll try and help you out, but it's pretty straightforward if you follow those instructions. I would always advise, let's just save this. I would always advise before you run duplicates, you should make a copy. So take your original data and then maybe make a folder here and call it archive. And then just right click on this, drag and drop it here and then just say copy here. So you want to keep a copy of the original data before you run the uh, remove duplicate. So you've got an original copy just in case there were some problems or errors. Then you can uh, always go back to that data and have a copy of it. So I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.